Hi everyone, John Dunn here with Cadence talking to you about the EM features, the new ones in V15, the latest release of Microwave Office. Well, it seems with every release of Microwave Office, our EM simulators are faster with higher capacity and nicer meshing. And V15 is no exception to that. Let me uh, show you some of the highlights very quickly in Axiom and Analyst. Let's go ahead and start with Axiom, our planar simulator. We have improved meshing. Uh, there are fewer HARFs. Uh, HARF is a high aspect uh, ratio facet. Think long skinny triangle. They're bad. They hurt your mesh. They hurt your simulation. And we have done a better job of getting rid of them. Uh, this lower picture shows a mesh. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a minute in the software. We also have true DC uh, solver capability and better vertical resolution for uh, MIM capacitors on chips. But let me go ahead and start by showing you that mesh very quickly. Here we are in V15. Uh, this is the same board you just saw in the PowerPoint. It is uh, NETS interconnect driving eight patch antennas on the bottom of the board. And what I just wanted to show you is I turn on the mesh we are getting very few long slivers of triangles. Uh, the triangles tend to be very close to equilateral. The rectangles are rectangles, not long and skinny. They're more like squares. So greatly improved meshing for Axiom in V15. OK, let me also come back to this DC solver. Uh, harmonic balance simulations need a DC point bias point in the s parameters if you put them in there especially for power amplifier designers and in the new version of axiom v15 there is a much faster dc solver it essentially just solves for the dc currents it is up to 40x times faster so power amplifier designers will love it because they can uh, run especially sweeps and things much faster with that solver and then finally, we now have improved our uh, vertical stack up, if you will, uh, the ability of Axiom to see the layer thicknesses uh, to sub nanometer, which is absolutely critical for MIM capacitors. Uh, you need to have your dimensions on those things um, include accuracies up to sub nanometer, or you'll get an incorrect capacitance value. Well, no more. Uh, in V15 with Axiom, it will accurately get the capacitance. Let's move on to Analyst, our finite element simulator in Microwave Office. We have many improvements. Let me give you a couple of the highlights very quickly. You can now put in lumped RLC elements. Uh, the picture on the lower left shows a wire antenna with a gap. Used to always have to put ports in there, and then you would put the uh, load the RLC elements in the schematic. Now you can put it directly in Analyst. Why would you want to do that? Uh, movies, fields, you can see them. You're loading down your port, and so the currents will actually flow. A big improvement is, uh, again, faster, better, more capacity in that spirit. Uh, Analyst, which has run on Linux before, it's always run on Linux, but now we can actually split the job up uh, one frequency, uh, one layout, we can split that up into multiple solvers, multiple computers, and solve for the matrix in parallel. That is a huge uh, improvement. We now can do problems of up to 100 million unknowns and more. So absolutely huge problems can be done in the Linux environment. And then finally, another important improvement is we've actually improved the accuracy of our waveports for the case with lossy metal. Uh, we now have a better way of doing that. It is more accurate. So for extremely highly accurate filters and things where you need an accurate cue, uh, you will get a more accurate answer. And with that, I conclude. Hope it gave you a quick idea of some of the things we've been working on in V15 for EM. As always, please give us a call or contact us on the internet, however you wish to do it at our website, if you have any further questions or would like more information. Have a great day, everybody.